Ready? Okay, I got Spank, Darla. You know, Hat, Ratatouille has a little chef. Our gang has a little rascals. Hi, right. and Rez runs the little coaches. Hey everybody, time for some fun on the road to Goofy's Race and a Half Challenge, that 39.3 magical adventure through all of the theme parks at Walt Disney World. Fun because I hope to wrap things up early enough in the week that I can actually go out to Disney World. It's been many months since breaking my foot and my annual pass is getting a bit of a break itself. Plus fun because I want you to meet these two, my support staff, the Munchkins, and because they're a little vertically challenged, I'm gonna get down with them, hold on. Hey, before I get to them, and I want to wrap it up as quickly as I can because it's a bit hot out and they are both panting as I'm sweating. Florida is always hot this time of year. I want to tell you where we are right now. It's T minus 17 weeks and counting to the Walt Disney World Marathon weekend. You may notice I did something a little different there. I'm not going to give you the different weeks that we are currently in because it's just confusing to me and we're all over the map in terms of different places. So 17 weeks to go. And if you're following the Run Disney plan, you are now at two 45 minute maintenance runs, a four mile mile walk as part of the challenge and 13 mile distance run. For me, it's a little different. I'm going to be doing the two maintenance runs and then an hour and a half duration. If you're following Hal Higdon, you're at seven miles and some cross training. And for those of you trying to go out and find your awesome, it's an 11 mile distance week. So now back to them. We all have important members of the family four-legged and two-legged who help us get through all of these processes and these guys are no less important than anyone else in my family. Head coach Spanky and assistant coach Darla Bell who's way down here because she's so darn hard right now and I know you're saying hey gee they're not real coaches. You have one. Yes coach Karen Blankenship is sometime athlete. You're going to meet her in the coming weeks but for now these two and you know if you listen to the dog whisperer Cesar Milan it's not always about training them. Sometimes it's about how they train us. Hey, I think we'll do this one at a time. Come on out, Spank. Who is the coach? Both Spanky and Darla are Frenchies, French Bulldogs, and Spanky has been with me for nine years. In fact, I was sitting at a restaurant just a week ago, and one of those Facebook memories popped up and said, this is what happened nine years ago. It was the day he came home to meet his family. He was so beautiful. And he got to meet my late, beautiful Boston Terrier, Scooter. Spanky has been my coach ever since. This was the days and weeks and years after I lost my vision and I was pretty much shut in. He would be there nearly every day looking over me as I did my P90X and my Body Beast exercises. That's how I started calling him the coach. I promise that I Come on, buddy. I will stand by I want to keep him moving. Forever. It's good for my foot. And while he's quiet most of the time, he can become very vocal, especially during thunderstorms and fireworks, or when it's time for stretching and rolling. My what? gremlin. I will follow you wherever. Five. started stumbling out of bed and i still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said it's like i'm wasted every time i see your face i'm losing track of time and space i don't know where i am it's like i'm wasted and i won't waste it and i promise that i i will stand by you forever i can't you out of my mind I will follow you wherever and I won't waste it I'll follow you 
if you're listening for audio cues like I do throughout this whole thing, you may notice some of it's gonna be a bit off. And that's because I'm getting a late start. I'm a bit tired. I actually did a really good training run just yesterday, 12.30 pace, and I'm doing two back to back. And you're gonna say, whoa, 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 you shouldn't be doing that with the foot. I have to be a little flexible with the schedule because I have plans on the weekend. So I have to push things up a little bit. And we are rolling. Also struggling a little, not only because of that back-to-back -back training session that I'm doing, but because I was fighting with the technology again, my darn eyesight, the phone was telling me it was at 100%. I'd say, say, hey Siri, what's the volume? The current volume is 100%. That's what he said. And then when I try to play something, it wouldn't play. So I had to do a hard reboot on a relatively new iPhone XS. I don't get it. Probably me. Probably missed something in the settings. Both Darla and Spanky are brachycephalic. It's the shape of their head and their little nose. It means they can't go out on those long runs. Heather Jurgensen can take her pup out with her for eight miles. These guys would overheat in a half mile, so they have to stay home. Who is Darla Bell? Well, Darla's been a member of the family for eight months. She was born 10 months ago. In fact, she was born Halloween week. It's why I call her my little boo. She is extremely protective of her toys. She likes to steal them from Spanky. In fact, it was her toy that I slipped on and broke my foot. And for a very brief period of time, I actually blamed her. And I know that's kind of stupid because she's a pup. It was just an accident. Darla can be really vocal and she likes to sass and talk back. <laughs> Now, while Darla is still learning her place with the family, I'll tell you one thing about her. She can be less than ladylike at times. She is one of the loudest burpers I have ever heard. I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. Good morning. I haven't, no, I haven't. <sighs> Looking for a lost kitten. You're probably saying, hey, gee, why are you focusing so much on Spanky and Darla? They're not real coaches. Hey, I know that. They're my coaches though. And you know, we all need a support system when we choose to do something extremely hard like this, training for a marathon or two things, a half and a full together. It doesn't matter if they're four-legged, two-legged. It doesn't matter if they're five or 50. You need members of the family to lean on to get you through a really difficult process. Another run timer. They come way more quickly, quickly than you think they will. Here we are right underneath the stars. So let's get a little reckless. You make me breathless and I won't waste it. <sighs> Complete. Good job.
I had really hoped to wrap up this video celebrating all of you who conquered the Paris Magic Runner. Even just that 13 mile training run, I was gonna go out to Epcot and I was gonna get a glass of wine or champagne, have the Eiffel Tower over my shoulder in the French Pavilion. You can see that's not where I am. Remember I meekly voiced my concern about skipping that break day? That came back to bite me in the butt and I had to bail on a friend of mine for the third or fourth time and I'm sure that's getting really old. I did manage to complete the last training run of the week, that 90 minutes, seven miles. Nearly every step hurt and my foot promptly swelled up afterwards. It has required constant care ever since. So I needed to reach out to the real coach. Sorry guys. And she says I need to take a break week. That does not mean that I'm gonna take a break from the video. It does not mean that I'm going to sit on the sofa and eat sweets and treats, although that sounds really good. It simply means time off of this foot but I am going to keep moving. You should do the same thing. Keep training, and hopefully I will see you at the start line. Hey, you guys are French, right?